game changers, entrepreneurs, recording artists, uh, entertainers, young hustlers. I'm here with my boy Nizzy Nice. He is a, I don't see him as an artist. He's an entertainer, he's an entrepreneur, CEO of his own uh, record label, and he's been in placements in EA Sports, um, on American History, or American Horror Story, Bill Murray, I mean movies with Kevin Hart, and the dude is someone that I, I truly feel is a game changer. So welcome, my man. How are you doing? Good. Excited so, to have you. So. So, so let's go back. When we first connected, um, I before I even knew you, I loved your music because it's not the typical. I don't even. Do you call your music just hip hop or is it more? It, it's not hip hop. I mean, it's, it, it's a couple of things. It's very dynamic. Yeah. It, you know, it's 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 energy vibes. You know, you know, it has a little bit of popish feel to it. A little bit of you know just. I, I don't even like to. I don't even like to put it. Yeah, it's in inspirational. Yeah, I don't. I don't even like to put a category on it. You know, I think everyone's trying to put everybody in a slot like this. This. It's just. I, I, I listen to a song. I write a song. I feel it. I vibe to it. That's. I create the art. Love it. We'll Period. talk about your creative process too, because it's very unique. Um, so I reached. We talked, and right when I talked to him, he had a very a confident feel, but. He didn't talk much about the music, even though you were recording, like in the middle of a recording session yeah, when I was yeah, talking I was, to you. Yep, but you yep. talked about legacy, you talked about helping people, you talked about being a voice for the young generation that you want to inspire. So instantly I was like, this guy's not normal. He's not like most artists. Mm -hmm. And we even talked about how you're, you're big on being fully authentic, being genuine, being yourself. You're not going to mold to fit the, to fit someone else's expectation. That's what right, I like about right, you. So let's right. talk about the beginning. Were you always in the music? I know you played sports. Let's talk about, yeah. go back to the young Nizzy Nice. Yeah. When did you get into music? What was the um, first thing? Really, uh, I was an athlete growing up. Um, you know what I'm saying? All sports, everything. Got into some extreme sports, BMX, uh, which is That's like the rare. That's unexpected, by the way. Right, right. Which, like, you, you rode BMX bikes? Yeah, which was the, the rare uh, sport I did. But, you know, it actually helped me because, it, you know, it, I got to cross that boundary of fear of, you know, just doing something different than everybody else and uh, stepping in that realm. Cause there, honestly, there wasn't a lot of, uh, you know, black males even in that industry, you know what I'm saying? Doing that. So I stood out there and, you know, just getting around, it, it, it made me grow. So um, just doing that. And then, so I tore my ACL um, riding and the um, only thing I had love for was music. You know what I mean? Um, I was always listening to So while to you it. played sports, you still like music? Yeah, I, I like music, but it, it, I realized it was my passion when I stopped playing sports. Like, yeah. because I had more time Do you to, go back now and see that tearing the ACL is kind of a blessing in disguise in a way? It could be. Because every young kid <laughs> wants to be like a pro this or a pro that or wants to be in sports. Right, right. So when you, you literally couldn't BMX anymore. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't do it, and uh, I, I just lost it. I didn't, I didn't want it bad enough to keep doing it and keep getting the injuries. It was just, I'm cool. So it, it was that. So then really what it was, was uh, I started watching Rap City in the Basement um, on BET. And then uh, we just started like copying that, mimicking that in my homie's bedroom. Like we'd hang a little mic up, you know, put the recorder on, tape recorder. This Something is way back. Just inspired yeah. you. Yeah, just, we just started spitting over beats and stuff like that. Finding instrumentals. This is when Napster was out and wow. people were ripping Napster. stuff. Yeah. Takes 20 minutes to download a song. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Downloading these instrumentals and just spitting, acting like we The young kids stuff. are like, what's Napster? Yep, yep. If, if you're above the age of like 23, 24, you know what <laughs> Napster is. Right, so we started doing that and then I would replay the tape back home uh, in my own time and I was like, sound kind of cool you know and you know I'd play it for people and they'd be like hey you kind of spitting you know and I'm like okay so I took it from that and then I went to the streets with it like I started uh, freestyle battling after the club and people would come from out of town now and you're from Indiana yeah, yeah so if if you say Indiana yeah people think of what basketball corn they think of corn, corn. they think of sports <laughs> hey corn, corn country fields. yeah so yeah. so was it was it a big music scene or not really not not at all there, there, there I mean there was a couple people you know to make a little bit of noise you know what I'm saying but there was no like big superstars that came out that of takes music. some guts though to be like I'm gonna do music even though no one does music yeah yeah I mean I, I knew off gate uh, that it wasn't gonna be something easy yeah. just because it she wasn't didn't really any, want yeah yeah but like 
but it, the passion was there. You know, you know, most of the people you know that I grew up with or whatever, they veered off into other things. But the whole time coming up, I was genuinely saying, no, I, I really want to do music. And they were saying the same things, but here I am today, the one still, still doing the music. Uh, and, and that's what it comes down to. Like, I don't, it doesn't matter how successful you became or whatever, but are you still doing what you yeah. said that you was going to do? And that's, that's what I Through brought. the toughest times. Exactly. And that's what I, you know, I stand for as, as a person, period. So when you say you do music, people don't realize, a lot of people probably listening have heard you. Yeah. Millions of YouTube videos, you've toured Paris. Who are some people, and, and if you know Nizzy personally, he's not the type to boast all the time. I'm singing with him and I know him. But for, for me and for the audience, who right. are some people you've sang with, you've met, you've been vibing with as far as the music industry? I know Wale and... Yeah, I've, did, I've done shows with like Wale, YG, you know what I'm saying, The Game, um, Yo Gotti. Um, man, I can't, I've been... I've so been, a lot of different people. Yeah, yeah, a lot, and, a lot of different And you have some people. great albums yeah. on iTunes and they're doing well. You have a very, very, very... Here's what I'll say about your fan base, just from knowing you for like a year. They're very loyal. They're, they're very, it seems like they're, they're like you, they're kind of authentic and genuine. They love, yeah. no matter what, they love what you're doing, right, whatever right. the album is, because right. you have different types of feels on different albums. Yes, of course. It's not the same music. It's not <laughs> right, like, not at all. His music is exactly the same. You yeah. could hear one song, yeah. like one of your new ones, I can't, yeah. I'm not going to say the name. Yeah. No one's heard it yet. Yeah. It's totally different yeah. than the other 80 songs I've heard from you. Right. So, but, but but that's what makes it special yeah, because exactly. I'm, I'm looking at music as if like I'm delivering this personally. There's no guidelines. There's, there's, you're not about to get the same ingredients from me. You're going to get this and it's going to taste good. It's, it's, if you were cooking something, but you can keep getting the same thing or do you still want to, oh, let me try this new, let me try this new spice because that's how you're about <clears> to open that door to something big, something, something crazy, something unseen. So you're you know? always experimenting. Yeah, I'm experimenting with my music <clears> and, and and I'm, I'm being an artist, a creator. You know what you I mean? You know what you said that stuck out to me a couple weeks ago is you said, um, and I think a lot of people do this that are younger, is I was talking about when do you record and, and if you're not feeling it, how do you force it? And you're like, I, I don't force it. If I don't feel it, I don't, I don't record. I don't, I, I, you know what I mean? I <laughs> yeah. find a way to when I'm inspired, I yeah. do it and I get yeah. in the zone. So what would you say to those people that maybe try to force it too much and they're always trying to create content or music when they're not yeah, always in I the mean, right state of mind. If you're an artist and you're watching right now, I mean, honestly, you know, you have to feel and be in the moment of what you're doing because that's going to be the song. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if, if you're putting down trash and doing all that, you don't even want to play that for anybody yeah. because it's not your... It's forced. Right. I mean, now, don't, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. There's no right or wrong way to do anything, period. This you know what I'm saying? This is your experience. This is how I do it. You know what I'm saying? And... And, and, and that's what I'm trying to tell people out here today too, is like, don't let nobody tell you the right or wrong way to do anything because they're going to tell you what works for them. You see what I'm saying? This stuff is what works for me. If you can take some of that and plant a seed and it helps you grow a little bit or whatever, or, or take something I'm saying or Peter's saying and mold it into your own <clears throat> way of doing things because everyone's not good at public speaking. Everyone's not good at being a leader or whatever, you know, find out what fits you. And, 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 and give the people that. You know what I mean? Yep. If, the, if you're the networking Stick person, yeah, do that. that. I mean, you that's know, in like, entrepreneurship, yeah, that's in yeah. music, that's yeah. entertainment. You know, that's if you're everything. a leader and you know what I'm saying, or, or whatever, just play your role. Because what happens is everyone tries to be the leader and everyone gets lost mm -hmm. because everyone's going different directions. Yep. You see what I'm saying? So if you, if you can't be the you leader. You see people yeah. try and do too much, like they try and do everything, they're producing and they're singing and they're this, 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 this. I this. mean, when it, they're younger? Right, right. It, it, that's why I say it. try things out. Try things. You know what I mean? That's, that's what we're here to do is try things. Like, I didn't just wake up and was like, oh, I'm about to do music forever. I tried it. It worked for me. I continued. You see what I'm saying? I could, this could have totally not worked for me. Yep. You know what I mean? I could have been a chef. Who knows? But <laughs> I'm just saying. You didn't cook tonight for us. So maybe you're I'm not. I'm just saying. Tune into my Snapchat. But, uh. I'm just, I'm just saying. What's your snap? Just tell them real quick. Uh, my snap is uh, Nizzy Nice. Everything's Nizzy Nice. So what I'm saying is, you know, try things or whatever works for you, do that. And if people don't believe what you're doing, then don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? They don't need to see your vision all the time. So you're still young. There's no way in my mind that you were always this in tune with who you were and this authentic. And have you tried to kind of mirror other artists when you were newer and it did, you didn't feel right, you said? So how'd you get to be super authentic where it's like, I'm gonna be me. I don't care what anyone thinks. I'm gonna be me because it feels right. Yeah. If it, I'd rather turn down millions to get huge record labels if they're gonna tell me what to do. 
I'd rather be myself. That's the new generation, that's the millennials. So people can relate to that, but some people see it hard to be successful that way. Right. But I feel like, to be honest, it is hard to be successful, but it's yeah. the only way to be successful is yourself. If you right. if you become successful and make millions, but you're yeah. not you, yeah, it, it's you're not living congruently. You, you, you so, might just hate your situation because yeah. even it if you have millions, right? Because it's not really you. It's you're, you're, you're acting. So how you was there like a breakthrough? Was it like living a different way? Was it something someone said? Was it you being frustrated? Was it awareness? What caused you to be like, dude, I'm done acting, right? Or I don't want to be this. I'm just gonna be myself. You know, I, I I think it's just, you know, throwing rock like you just keep on doing something and then eventually you find your way. Like of course you've you've seen another artist or you've an artist has done something you've liked or oh I liked it, the pans on that or I liked it, the echo there or whatever. But but what it comes down to to me is like I don't know how to do karate. But I didn't seen it done on TV. So the first thing I'm gonna do is something I didn't see. So that, that I mean, that, that, that's natural. First step, yeah. That's natural. You have to do that. I, if you don't play basketball, you see they're shooting it. You gotta shoot it. You've copied. You've copied. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you just take that and then you, you you put in what you are, your energy, because everyone grew up around different people. Everybody was raised different. Like my story is not all. Oh, I got shot and I, you know, I was robbing banks and that ain't my story. I'm not about to tell that story. I'm not about to be that energy. I'm Your not past, about to be that. It's not an easy past, though. We've talked about it. Right, right, people, right. He's, right. It's not, he's it's gone not, through his challenges. Trust I've me. gone through my challenges, and I came up, like I said, I came up in a home with, you know, my, my father was in a wheelchair and had to, had to care for a parent and, and all that. So I've seen, you know, everything. But it, it it's not even about that. It's just about, like I said, just being able to understand who you are, That's what huge. you mean, which is like saying if you're not a street person, you're not about don't that life, like that. Yeah. don't act like it. You are unique the way you are. Like, and that's the main thing people are because like everyone's judging me. I'm about to make a song. I gotta be this because uh, this person does that, that gets, or whatever. I think that drains yeah, energy. Yeah, yeah, it does. Like me with tattoos, like I've had comparisons, Tiger Woods, whatever. But I had tattoos before these people were even big. I, I've been had tattoos. I just kept going because I stick to what I do. I think it's so if it's up it's getting tattoos, yeah. I'm gonna stick to getting tattoos and I'm not gonna worry about, well, you can't get a job if you, I don't care about that, bro. Didn't you have a song where you, you kind of said, I tried to fit the mold and I'm done, I'm going to be myself? What, what was the, I can't remember what it was. It was a really good one. Live you it up. I tattoos. think it's live it up. I think yeah. it's live it up or something and like that. A superstar. One of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Live but it up. you're just like, I'm done. I'm going to yeah. get tattoos. I don't care if I can't get a job. I'm going to do my own thing. Yeah, I'm going to be me. Yeah, be me. And, you know, the universe will make space for you for whatever you are. Like I said, everyone is unique. You're unique. Whoever, you don't have to be an artist, rapper, or have the new Yeezys or just just do as you. If you want to wear the Vans, wear the Vans. By the way. I got the Vans on. That's why I said that. I don't know if y'all okay, caught yeah. on. You're I don't know if y'all caught on. Bro. I just funny. said that for a reason. But I'm just saying, you know, like, be your own person. Be your own person. So that, that, that's what it comes down to as an artist. What I've realized, too, in entrepreneurs, same thing. It, 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 it's almost, it's, it's impossible to build a world-class life if you care what everyone thinks about you. It's almost yeah, impossible. Definitely. You have to give up the need to be liked if you want the great lifestyle. Definitely. So let's talk about... Your, your story because you took a risk that most people won't take and that's why most people don't get to the pinnacle of success mm -hmm. Whatever success means to you. You were you were doing really well in Indiana as mm -hmm. an artist. Yeah, and you were crushing it Yeah, I, um, I think at some point what's the population of, of where you were and you it were getting 240,000 oh, What was yeah. your average the YouTube yeah. views were 200? <laughs> yeah, we, it's we almost like the, yeah. everyone in your town yeah. in, in your state knew about you Yep. so you made the leap to move to LA with yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing you probably had somewhat of a plan, but yeah. not a huge plan. You're like, yeah. I'm going to LA because I want to yeah. chase my dreams. I want yeah. to get yeah. around. I want to get my music out there. It's not about you. It's about the music. It's about yeah. good vibes. It's about inspiring people. So right. w what caused you to move from Indiana, which is like a, a smaller state, as you said, cornfields, country, yeah. Yeah. a lot of cornhole, to, uh, to LA, which right. is the city of dreams. A lot of people. Uh -huh. It's a saturated market. What's your mindset there? Well, I wanna, I wanna, I'm gonna circle back and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna end there. Perfect. Um, for, you know, before we go there, it's, it's team, it's team. You know, I didn't, I didn't do everything on my own. Like I didn't, you know, like I, I had good people around me, managers, lawyers, fans, whoever, producers, yeah. producers. You know, shout out to all of y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because that is what makes everything. It's like. 
I'm the artist, but it's, it's so much more to yeah. music than just being the artist. It's like we said, managing and There's all that stuff. There's a lot of moving parts. And, and make sure that those people are, you know, really there for you. And they're not there trying to, let me get my 50. Because it's going to be situations where some people may have to merge out or merge in. You see what I'm saying? For you to grow. And you don't want to get locked into a situation where they're not going to give you any wiggle room because then it's going to take that passion out of you as an artist to want to create. Because you're like, I'm not about to do this. I'm about to get 20%. You know what I'm saying? So that whole thing is what got me to being able to move to LA, which I, I took the risk because I hit a ceiling in my hometown. You know what I'm saying? I I, I, I was I'm cool with you know people that are running the hospitals, you know the baseball team, the presidents, and whatever the mayor. You you connect with a lot of different types of people. Yeah, which people. I wish I was impressed. I was yeah, impressed people. By that. People you'd never think I would know. I know, but 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 I do that on purpose because. Yeah. Don't judge me because of my tattoos and what I do. Don't judge me. You don't know who I know. See, people are coming at me like, what's this? Or tell me to do something. I'm like, bro, I know the person that, that owns this, bro. Yeah. What, what, what are you talking, what are you talking they about? They don't assume that. Exactly. They're not going to assume that. They're like, oh, he's just dude. Uh, don't come at me like that. But I came out here because I wanted to network. I couldn't really network back home. I couldn't really network. But, but you're doing well. You're crushing it. So in most people's eyes in a smaller town, yeah, you almost made it. So where'd the hunger come from? Because I want to teach. Where, where'd it be like? I'm I'm doing well. Money's coming in, but I, I have this vision. Because same thing happened to me where I was doing well. I was right. I, I I was successful in most right. society's eyes, but I'm right. like, dude, I have this mission. I I, I want to do bigger I, things. I feel what like the it? best way to break this down for for the viewers, like that's been imprinted into our head, is like, okay, say you want to go be a, f a f film director or whatever, you're going to go to where th the best film directors are, which wherever college that is, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's how I'm looking at it as a music sense. Like, I'm like, okay, where are people popping off at with the music? You know, you can either go to New York, you can go to Atlanta, you can go to L.A. I chose L.A. because it was a natural thing for me. I got here, I came to the pre-Grammys, um, and I loved it, and I was like, yo, this fits. I've been in New York already, been to Atlanta, but it didn't fit. You know, it was like, this ain't me. You it know? was back to being authentic. Exactly. Yeah. So I went with what, what made sense. You know what I'm saying? But really, after, before that, I had went to Paris. Me and my manager went to Paris, did a whole tour out there. That's what really opened my brain up and expanded me as like, oh, no, you can really do this. How like, big the world Yeah, is. like, we, we, you know, we're, we, we, we are still underground just, you know, and we got a tour in Paris. I'm like, this is crazy. You know what I mean? So that's what really gave me the wings to fly out here. Like, I love that's huge. So that goes back to having a good team. Yeah. Because I, I mean, you you have a team that takes care of your managers here, and and he's yeah. a friend from Indiana. Yeah. yeah. Now let's let's just get blunt because the world doesn't have enough blunt, and and there's too much BS. I like that. Let's go under the skin. It's just, but but I'm just saying, you you've been in LA, you met some great people, but you've also met some people that they just have ulterior motives, and you're just like no good vibes. For younger people, if you don't feel something, you don't if they don't have good vibes, you yeah. have to cut it off. Right. You've dealt with that. So it's cool that most of your team and some people that you yeah. knew didn't work out. But that, you have a team that's from Indiana, some yeah. I mean, but, I mean, but 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 they I don't hang out with nobody in LA though. Yeah. Besides yeah. if you if if why? we working together on something, you around me. That's why he around me. Yep. If you're not working on something with me, you get eliminated. You're gone. There's no point. You're very strategic you're, you're, in who you there, allow in your there, circle. There is no point. And it's not that you're cocky. You're just, you're strategic and you don't want people that aren't real or that have ulterior motives. You're right. Not, you just want good vibes it, it around It is you. that, and it's like, I'm bouncing my energy off of you. Mm -hmm. You're bouncing your energy off of me. If this is where it stops for you, that's fine. But if you're trying to reach for the stars, then you got to get on the spaceship. Is it, it, is it, and that's what I'm trying to say is like, once people start losing that drive and that energy, I'm going to pick that up. You see what I'm saying? All right, bro. Cool. Do what you want to do. Yep. Go do whatever. You know what I mean? But... This this vision has to continue, and the people that yeah, is going to be magnets to you that want to go up, they going to be there. That's why I can sit across from you, right here. We didn't meet in L.A. Yep, I didn't meet true. you in L.A. You know what I'm saying? It was it was all off of the internet, and we connected. You were in Indiana exactly. At the time and I'm outside, but, yeah. but if the if the energy wasn't there, then we wouldn't yep. we wouldn't be here. So I mean, that's just what it is for me. So when people come out to L.A., they're like, oh, I'm about to go out here. I'm about to be talking to all these people. It ain't even like that. It's yeah. You get around people that are genuine, that you actually have something relatable. You then network, you then collect, because you have to be around them in settings. If someone can piss you off, or they can be disloyal, or they could be, if you had a girl, whatever, trying to be, and that could just, 
it don't matter what they can do for you at that point. Yeah, you just don't want to be around. You see what I'm yep. saying? It's and, and, and that's a that's the main thing is just being real around people that you need to be real around and people that you you can you can mess with. And so. you're it's funny you're you're very different to where most artists that have hip hop, the clubs, the bottle service, you got to be VIP. You don't go out much. I put I put it in a song. I think it's coming out. I think we put it out. But I said y'all. In the VIP, I'm trying to buy the club. Like, I don't. Yeah. Why? Why do the VIP when you can buy the club? And then all y'all gotta pay me to go pop the bottles. Like it, and that's how I'm thinking. Like I'm not even thinking. Oh, let me go buy the VIP. Like, come on, man. So where'd you get that mindset? Because I think it was on 30, 30 by 30 on ESPN or a show. 70% of NFL players go broke. A lot of rappers they make. 50 million and then they go broke there's 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 rappers that made 100 million and they're working at starbucks the, the club is the double playground <laughs> period so, you're so drunk, what is your... you're not making the right decisions you're around women that don't want to be do, do nothing for you but bring you issues and drama you feel like me and, and 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 that's why i don't do where that mindset, mindset come from it came from honestly i'm 28 years old i've already ran out there and seen it but I learn faster than Most other people. people. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, let me, I'm done with that, whatever. I'm still, they're like, oh, you should still be out. Nah, you, you're not about to navigate my life. You see what I'm saying? I'm going you to navigate control. it. So when I say I'm done That's drinking, good thing that means I'm done drinking. Yeah. See, when I was younger, people, come on, have another one and do this and do this. And then you start understanding that I am not in control of my life anymore. Everyone else around you is. You see what I'm saying? Because they're do this and do that and do that. You gotta learn how to say no until even even uh, guys know or women know. For ladies out there, to the, the guy know or tell the you know what I'm saying. Come on, come on. You gotta be able to say no. Would you sometimes. say a lot of younger people you connect with, a lot of your fans? Would you say in your experience, a lot of people are saying yes too much? Yeah, so please I mean, don't trust yeah, people. it's it, they, they become you know yes, yes men. They call them yes men. Yes, yes. And like if an artist call me, do you like this song? No. If I really like it, I'm gonna say yeah. yeah if I don't like it, no. If I don't care who you are, it could be Kanye West, it could be Jay, whoever. If I'm not vibing to it, I'm not vibing to it, cause that's where the respect is. They can be like, let's bring him in. He's yeah. gonna keep it real, and that's how I have to move. And if that takes me longer, it takes me longer. I love it. That's huge, <laughs> and that's why I wanted to give introduce you to a lot of the people that already know you and some that that don't. Is, yeah. is it's so crucial to be authentic. There was a time where where people wanted you to have Lamborghinis in your videos, yeah. and you're like, take them out. Yeah, yeah. What, what was your what was your reasoning behind that? Just well, wasn't, I, didn't feel like you or what? Well, yeah, I, well, I got a video nice like this. It's at a million views. You should check it out on YouTube right now. Um, but it was like, basically, I shot it at a club in my hometown, Fort Wayne. This this club was a little club. I shot a video, millions of views everything they gave me vip the whole year like after this everything and i they were like yeah you know come up in the lambo and you know i pull up to the club in the lambo and typical, i got out like, right right videos, yeah. i'm sitting there watching the video and i'm just like i don't have a lambo yeah. so for me to give this to you i'm already lying to you <laughs> I'm already lying to you, so why why would I preach being authentic if I'm already lying to you? And that's what happens a lot of times with people at the club acting like they're rich, mm -hmm. girls acting There's like that's that them. That ain't you, that ain't you. You got all that makeup on. Them ain't your real the real body parts. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want to be around that. Yeah. I don't. That, that's not necessary because you're not happy with yourself mm -hmm. when you look in the mirror. I am. Yeah. I am. And if I don't have it all, I don't have it all. Yeah. I so love that, man. That's, that's huge. Just, that's just to learn that at a younger me. age. So, so what would you say? We've talked a little bit about about this before. You you love helping the young world, everybody, but you love inspiring people that want to be maybe they're, they're right now they're 19, 20, they're 16, 17. They they aspire to be like you or be an artist or or maybe they want to own a company, be an entrepreneur. Yeah. They ju they just want to figure out how to be fully authentic. Yeah. Let's go through what could hold them back. What 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 would you say is the biggest mistake you see? Uh, young millennials make whether it's music business anything what's like the thing that you see over and over again that's kind of causing people not to succeed um lawyers they don't have lawyers um <laughs> you were talking about chasing like the shiny objects yeah and... I mean I mean everyone wants nice things don't get me wrong everybody wants nice things like yeah but 
don't get, risk your soul for a chain or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It, it is not that deep. But I think the business side of the music is where a lot of people fail because that is what's going to make you able to keep creating is the business side of the music. Like you can always make a song and all that, but the business side of the music is what's going to allow you to keep creating, have the pool, have the hot tub, have the house, have the, the workers and, and, and create the vision to get the video to come out how you want it. You see what I'm saying? Because we can all sit here and be like, oh, that'd be crazy if we had a spaceship come down and I flew off. And, but there is people that can make that happen, <laughs> believe it or not. But you got to get your business right first so they can then, you see what I'm saying? So the business, the lawyer, the business, the suit, basically the suit. Um, another one is, um, what's another one? Hmm. Like think about a lot of the artists you see that are younger that just. I'm, th I'm thinking right now. That and they're, they're staying in trouble, you know. They're 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 trying to act out. They're not being real. Like we, it comes back to the being yeah. real, where, you know, Chief Keef them came out with the you know the drum or whatever music, and now they want to be in their videos with Fight, guns, yeah. and then next thing you know, the cops at your house because you put the video out with you with the guns, and and everyone knows you're 16 whatever years old. You see what I'm saying? Now you're in jail. You see what I'm saying? You just gotta be smart. You see what I'm saying? And, and you can't you can't do all that all the time. You know what I mean? You can't follow the way. So I call, you know, my uh, business is called Hurricane Music Group because we make waves, we don't ride them. A hurricane makes waves. People ride waves. We make waves. You see what I'm saying? So that's that's where that whole concept came from. But um, but yeah, man, just just like I said, get your business in order. Number one thing: manager, lawyer. Business, get all that done. Say, figure you guys out. Gotta, if manager, anyone has any aspirations to be in music or yeah, entertainment, manager, lawyer, and uh, figure out, research this. How can I make money off of music? How can I make money? Publishing, licensing, blah blah blah. Distribution. You've made blah, money blah, blah. a lot of different ways. <laughs> right, but and, and last that's time what you're at my house in the morning, you have two, three different phone calls talking about all these. Yeah, like yeah. Sideways deals, EA yeah, Sports and yeah. movie placements. Yeah. So, so you don't. So let's. What are a couple of the ways that people don't think about for artists that make money? Like movie placements, right? What are some other ones that people don't think about? Um, it's kind of cool to hear about those. I mean, songwriting. You know, publishing with the songwriting, whatever. Um, but all that is on the business because you got to be able to get with a firm yeah. or whatever. Because the whole music thing is so like hands on that like. You can get coming to the studio with me and get taken advantage of because you don't have you don't have the knowledge to know how to get paid off of that. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So it comes down to the knowledge and knowing the space you're in and understanding what's going on around you. You see what I'm saying? Yep. So if to put it in terms, if you didn't get that, like we'll go back to basketball since the, the tournament's on. If you don't know the rules, how can you win the game? You do not know the rules. A lot of people don't know the full rules. <laughs> you don't know the rules, so how can you win the game? So if you're trying to make money off of music, know the rules of how to make money off of music, and then you'll that'll come. I swear, it's like after you find out, you start making money. It's simple. But if you're out there right now, you just like just just starting, <clears throat> look up uh, TuneCore. Go to TuneCore. That's that's a way to make money. Just if you're putting stuff on iTunes, yeah. whatever, that'll collect it for you. TuneCore. You know what I'm saying? There's streams out there. Just look them up. But it's stuff like that people don't know, and they're just missing out on money. It doesn't matter if it's twenty dollars, a hundred dollars. It's still money. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you know, be on the internet and finding out this stuff. Seek knowledge. You know what I'm saying? So I love it. And, and you're someone that that studies. You do your due diligence. You read. You make sure that you know everything. And obviously, you have a lawyer. Yeah. So is there anything you can tell people what you? like what your criteria is for having someone on your team. Yeah. Is it genuine? Is it, do they have to be really knowledgeable? Do you have to yeah. vibe with them? Like if someone's looking for a team, whether they're entrepreneurs or, or business or yeah. salespeople yeah. or they're music, musicians, yeah. what are a couple things that you have to, the qualities they have to have for them to be on your team? Well, like I said, everyone is different. So for me, I'm gonna tell you what works for me. So for instance, you have to look in the mirror, it comes back to being authentic again. What am I good at and what am I not good at? If you are not a book smart person, get a book smart person. Yeah, if you are not thing. a networking person, get a networking person. Because those are the people that are gonna bring the clients in and get you, weasel you into these situations and you can figure out a way for everybody to make money. Because like you said, some people think that they can do it all on their own. 
So that's where they fail because they're at the club every night trying to network, not recording music. They're 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 they're, they're going to all these events and they're not actually writing the music. But you have to have people you trust, which is the team, to do that. That's why artists are like, yeah, you know, we ain't at the club. We making all the hits and y'all partying too. You know what I mean? Yep. All that stuff is because <coughs> that is actually true. You cannot be out here partying every night and expect to be a, a multi-million dollar recording artist because it doesn't work like that. You see what I'm saying? It just doesn't work like that. So, two more things, then we'll end this because I feel like there's already enough value. I mean, there's so much value here that people can take. The years that you've put in and the lessons you've learned, um, the perspectives you've shared are amazing. W what's your legacy? We were talking before the camera went live and, and you don't want to be known as a rapper or an artist. What's, what's, what's the legacy that you want to leave? What's, wh what's the legacy you want to create? Because the first five minutes we talked, you were talking about legacy mm -hmm. already. Yeah. So what is it for you? Uh, what, do you what, what do you want to be about like in the next 20, 30 years? What excites you? I feel like from where I come from, from Indiana, shout out to everybody. But, uh, you know, this whole entertainment music thing in general is it. It's always been a tightrope. It's always been like, go ahead if you dare, you know? So for me, it's first proving that that can be done. Then in turn, flipping the whole script, not being what they think I'm gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Which is whatever, you know what I mean? Coming back, throwing the suit on, building in the hometown, coming back, doing this, doing that, building entertainment firms for other kids that grew up like me who had a dream to do something, but they didn't have the resources giving back to the community, which I'm gonna open up. It's, it's gonna be called Have a Nice Day Foundation, which is where I'll sponsor someone or whatever. Don't steal my idea. I know y'all out here thinking, don't steal. <laughs> but- He has a lawyer. <laughs> we'll come find you. I know where this all happened. So, <laughs> but Have a Nice Day Foundation, uh, where we give back, we sponsor people, whatever like that. And uh, just, just helping people uh, get their creations out. However, whatever it is, if, it, if, if it's a tech company. If using it's a, your platform to inspire yeah, others. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, kind of something like that. Just supporting other uh, young entrepreneurs to getting to where they need to be. You know what I'm saying? Is, 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 is what our core focus is. That's huge. I love it, man. So what do you tell 100,000 young entertainers, young artists, young entrepreneurs? And let's include you. You're an 18-year-old. What do you tell your 18-year-old self? What do you tell 100,000 or even a million young entrepreneurs? What, what do you tell, what's the message for them so they can really understand how to live a life where they have peace of mind? They're not always trying to be accepted by everybody else. They're always mm -hmm. taking opinions. How can we get them so they're just themselves and they, and they become successful the right way? What's the message to all these young kids, these millennials? Um, not an easy question. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many things and quotes that pop in my head, but um, just to be real in the energy today, um, if I would say, be yourself, go with the vibes. When it's wrong, it's wrong. When it's right, it's right. I mean, as simple as that seems, it's hard because what happens is you'll feel something, but you won't act on it. It's, no, it's huge. It's you way bigger it, than people but think. You, yeah, you won't act on it. And what that, that that slowly starts to build, and you have a whole bunch of these things where, oh, I shoulda, I coulda, I shoulda, and they just build up. And before you know it, you're 50. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? You, you've had all these shoulda, coulda, you know what I'm saying? Because you didn't act on the energy that was going on. You're like, dang, I, I need to, but you didn't. You, you're like, ah, I'll get it later. I'll do that later. I'll get to it later. We need to start doing it now. If you feel something, you need to do it now. If you don't want to drink, stop today. If you don't want to do this, stop today. You ain't got to drink and drive. You ain't got to smoke. You ain't got... You can stop today, period. All that, all that talking and all, stop today. You're the person in the mirror. You control your life, so always remember that. You can stop anything today. You can start anything today. If you want to be a better person, you can start today, period. That's huge, man. I'm leaving y'all with that. I don't know if people really understood <laughs> the power of that as well. So you have a lot of music out. Yeah. So we could promote different albums. You have Paris, you have two different albums coming out. You have yeah. Los Los Angeles, you yeah. have a new one just released. Yeah. Uh, when, how long ago was that? Letting Go. That, uh, when, uh, when awesome album. Only March, was it? February. Only February. 10 songs, 11? No, it was like like seven. Seven songs, cool. Yeah. <laughs> All his other albums are a lot of songs, but it was good yeah. vibes. Yeah. Nizzy is one of the few that I can listen to album from song one to the very end, and there's no like, ah, skip that song. 
which I like. So where can they find out more about you? You're on YouTube. I mean, you have you have a huge subscriber list. You also have people that are, are loyal fans because yeah. of how authentic you are. Yeah. Um, so check his music out on YouTube. Where else? Instagram is Nizzy Nice. Everything yeah, is Nizzy yeah. Nice. Yeah, everything is Nizzy Nice, but my website is itsnizzy.com, but I am changing it to nizzynice.com. We'll link it below. Somebody tried to buy the domain name and all that stuff. So we, we got that handled. But just Nizzy Nice everything, iTunes, YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, you name it, we got it. Uh, all that, you know, holler at me. I usually respond to fans and stuff like that, man. And, you know, we just here to grow. And uh, if you vibe with my music, play it. If not, don't play it. You know, it's it's all about what you vibe to. I don't want to force anything on anybody. It's all natural. And I think it's best that way. Yep. You feel me? So thank you. What's new coming out? Uh, next, I have coming out uh, Lost in Paris is when I, I recorded EP when I went out there. All Everything was done in Paris. And then I am possibly might be dropping... Uh, Nice Mares, which is, you know, is going to be a cool little album. You know, the darker Nizzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The like darker it. the darker side, the villain in me. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I'm just making, you know, great music and I'm continuing to grow. But like he said, you're not going to keep getting the same thing from me. And I think later on in my career, that is going to be what's going to make me flourish. Love it, man. So. Well, I, I respect you at the highest level. You're, uh, you're someone that I call a friend and someone that I respect. I love the legacy you're building. The music's amazing. I can vibe to it. Same, same. And uh, I, I think you're going to have a huge career in music. And you're going to do it on your terms, your own way. So That's always awesome, good, man. man. Pleasure. Yep. Thank you all for tuning in, man. We'll see you guys soon. Peace. That's it.